over with. But if you come in here smart, you might win. I'm just saying. Let's come in there smart, gang. Same with Sean Cotton, y'all. Sean Cotton talks about his rapper AIA Lit. Y'all remember who AIA Lit is? He is a little demon. <laughs> no, that nigga little demon. But nah, AIA Lit was signed by uh somebody Sean Cotton. When he was signed by Sean Cotton, Sean Cotton also bonded him out of jail. And Sean Cotton talks about that in the interview. Uh, and yeah, I just want y'all to see what's going on with the whole situation with AI Elite. And then we'll get everybody in, input on that. I know what I'm going to say already. Since Conte King his music, I know you moved away from it. So you okay. This may be my last year of music. I okay. think I think I'm gonna wrap it up this year. Y'all can hear? Yes, sir. Ski. I bet. Here. Uh, now somebody come to me with a Michael Jackson type of guy. Yeah. Somebody who's just undeniable. Already have his having his own wave. I don't gotta create it. I don't gotta put. You know. I don't gotta put no fire behind it. All I gotta do is is do what I do. Yeah. That's the, okay, but just f- signing an artist that I like and trying to make that shit work, nah. It's like, yeah, look, we've been talking about you. You know, we were talking about artists and shit like that. Yep. The nigga, the nigga who 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 go through hundreds of artists a day, maybe thousand artists a day. I don't even want to look at an artist no more. How you, how you feel about that? How y'all feel about that? It's, it's hard. Go ahead, Jayla. No, you got it. It's hard to deal with these niggas. Like, I've stopped wanting to deal with artists. Not like that, but, like, I've stopped wanting to deal with artists because they're annoying as fuck, bro. Like, you want to do you, and I respect that completely. But this is a business, gang. Yeah? Like... These, just because you buying chains and jewelry don't change that this is a business, bro. Like, I need y'all to handle business, bro. Like, I bonded you out of jail. Stay out the streets. No, no, we're not talking about that. We're not talking nah, about that. I'm just saying, like, just in general, just in general. I'm in here, hey, I'm out here risking everything. Everything as a manager or a A&R or a person that's funding you a whole lot of money. You're, you're a label. You're making sure the label's putting this money behind them. As an A&R, you're making sure the label puts money behind them. And if you lose out, the label stops trusting you with certain amount of money, gang. I can't not, I can't fuck up that relationship because you are, at, you're a dumbass. Listen, I'm not going to. Yeah. All right. Sean Cotton, I would say what I'm saying is why do y'all think that every rapper every rapper except maybe a 0.1% does not get the rap shit. They want to be rappers but they don't get over the hump to be a rapper. They want to be street niggas nowadays. It's so cool to be a street nigga that even the the niggas that make rock star music want to carry guns. So, yeah. Come on, man. Uh, with that, bro, from what I see, that I don't think that niggas to need to be looking for rappers. Niggas don't need to be trying to sign rappers or even put their time in behind another nigga because um like niggas be telling me like man I got this dude bro he cold like you know what I'm saying bro we should put behind him you know what I'm saying like nah bro like that's how I feel like just personally nah because this nigga like if he really he really want to do it he will be pushing himself like ain't no other nigga is gonna push you 
to be the best unless you want to get fucked over. And in the end, if I fuck you over, then I'm a whole ass nigga from even putting all this work over with you. So I feel like at the end of the day, with these niggas, it's like, man, me even trying to even help you, bro, is going to hurt our relationship in the end because you're going to think that I'm, I'm fucking you. So I feel like that this rap game that is gonna be only a point one percent get it. The other niggas don't get it. They only understand the music. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And not like that. Sean Cotton got a problem with signing the hood nigga every time. So that's nobody else's problem. Go get you a rock star ass nigga. The past Man, five. The past five niggas he signed went to jail after he signed them. So that ain't let nobody the, fault but his. Too. Let, them, let the people come to you, bro. Like, don't, I don't think it's time to be just looking for more. Just like, just with, with the uh, narrative going around right now, uh, record labels are not looking for new artists. They want the shit to die down. There's too many people that want to be artists and not too many people want to be record labels or, uh, Regular people. Yeah, or even, yeah, we so don't like, even have anybody who wants to be a doctor anymore. You know, doctors make more than fucking rappers. I want y'all to know that. Nobody nobody wants to be a surgeon or a doctor. Nobody wants to be a lawyer. All these people make more money. Nobody wants to be... Even teachers make more than than rappers. And teachers don't make that much money. Yeah, bro, if you, wanted, if you, if you really want to... Um... Be real, yeah. It's the average teacher gonna make more. It's it's like that. That's what it is. Because ain't it rappers ain't really making no money. If you want to average the teacher who make the much money into the nigga who call himself a rapper, not a successful rapper, because you know, just a nigga with a chain that might be fake or <laughs> might be real. Yeah, exactly. But let's get back to that. Spent his last dollar on that one or two outfits. Exactly. And the teacher got a house. She more successful than him. <laughs> Do you, are you still working with Rob Four Nine? I'm in a. I'm in. I'm in a partnership. Got I'm you. in a partnership. I'm in a partnership with it. Yes. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Now, what about the kid that you spent all that money and bailed him, got him out of jail? Hey, hey he went back to jail. <laughs> Damn. How, how much did you spend? <laughs> Man, probably total maybe like a hundred, a hundred twenty. Shit. Yep. Gone. And me and Birdman was supposed to link up together and uh partner on. Mm. But he couldn't leave he couldn't leave the uh state. So you know how New Orleans is. You stuck in your hood. New Orleans yeah. last year was the it was the murder capital. New Orleans was. Damn. New Orleans, uh Louisiana was the murder capital. When St. You, Louis, I think Memphis were behind. Um when you hear those when you when you hear them getting arrested again and knowing the money that you spent, how does that feel with you? Um <clears throat> that's a lot of money, hundred thousand. It's just like that's why I'm in real estate now. Yeah, I mean, real estate's not going. They're not going to let me down. Them fix and flips. Yeah, it's not going to let me down. So it's just like with rappers, it's 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 low. It's high risk, low reward. Hmm. It's like throwing a needle in a haystack. Like in rap, it's so hard to blow now. Not saying we can't do it. It's artists that go viral on my shit, like the OT guy, the Mexican guy, the D babies. It's a lot of Rappers right now who going viral on my shit, that's that's going crazy. It could be done, but it's just like the fans have so much control now when they know that. Yeah, like the fans know. Um, and yeah, when he went back to jail, I was like, man, this shit. I knew better though. Hell, hundred K gone, shit. But um, I do got five projects with him that's on streaming. Okay. So people stream the shit out of that dude. Uh, yo, give me that. <laughs> I need my back end. I need it, I need it, I need it. That back end crazy. What that? That get back a motherfucker. Let's do that. I'll give you like 10 noodles, nigga. Hell, nigga. 200, uh. a, 200 a week ain't too bad, gang, bro. Look, yeah, 500 a week ain't too is, bad, bro. This shit is, like they say, 90% business, 10% talent, bro. That's why, like, I, don't, I guess I understand when people don't jump on the, the news news article. Local rapper AIA lit. 
who was free on us. Evan. Oh my. Hey, I'm going to just say it like this. That's a police chase. His real name is. What's that? Dan Daniel? Newton? Daniel. Daniel Mutton. He's 18 at the time. Was held out. I mean, held without bail after a court hearing in which Jefferson Parish Judge Donald Chick Fur declared him a potential danger to the community. Damn. Man, this is crazy. This dude got to be fucking nuts. He got to be nuts, bro. My boy, you went back to jail. I got this. Nigga, you supposed to live in the studio after after you get a chance from a nigga like that, bro. Just, you know. a very large police presence giving more information tonight about what led to a very large police presence as well as a school lockdown in a neighborhood in new orleans east apparently there have been some arrests as well whitney miller joining us now live from the scene uh whitney what can you tell us yeah the scene has died down much here i'm on the uh, corner of Dwyer and Bullock, um, but the, the, the police presence is just one vehicle. Now we did learn that a possible stolen vehicle sparked all of this. Just take a look at the video we shot of police surrounding this neighborhood off of Bullock just a few hours ago. Police just told me this whole scene was a result of a possible stolen vehicle and police spotted it in this area. And when they approached, several people exited the vehicle and ran. There was a chase on foot we watched as two teens were arrested. That's him? And that's how they were able to catch up with the third suspect. Yeah, he young. Just listen to what a local barber in the area had to say about this scene. I heard and seen a lot of police cars driving down Bullet, you know, towards uh, the wire. And I looked on my, um, my camera, I could kind of see that they actually hopped the curve and like actually started driving down like the the grass on the side of the canal and like that's pretty much all that I saw and like didn't a lot of um unmarked cop cars started pulling up yeah and that scene was very active I'm told this is still an ongoing investigation the stolen vehicle still left on the road out here um, now as we mentioned that charter school there was a brief lockdown and that has since been lifted uh, police were searched while the police were searching the area um, I was told that two weapons were recovered what? in these arrests and police have not released the identities of those arrested nor the charges that they may face for now live in New Orleans East Whitney Miller eyewitness news I mean, he he can probably beat this charge right here. He probably can beat that charge, but nigga, you just you just got bro forfeited seventy five thousand dollars, bro. Like what the fuck, nigga? Like they say he was held without bond after court hearing. Um, what's that? Okay, follow. It's all weird for them jigger boos if you ask me. They say illegal <laughs> possession of stolen property, property and I mean possession of the uh, intent to distribute oxycodone, illegal carrying a weapon with drugs and the link. I know you. Get at this bro, Look, bro. They gonna take they you know it's crazy. Sean Cott said 125 because he know what he paid. He you know what he paid for those properties. But no, he no, no. lost out on some properties because of fork uh vanquishing him. No, no, what are you talking about? Because bro, he gonna have to give that seven hundred and fifty thousand up. No. But even if he paid the ten percent, don't he have to give up the other the other part if the nigga uh, oh, fuck up his no. bond? Hell no. 
It don't work like that. You bond okay. out, you pay the you pay the ten percent, so that's seventy five, that's seventy five thousand right there, and that's the money that you put up just to ensure that he is gonna come back to court. Or he won't get in trouble no more. If he get back in trouble, you forfeit your bond automatically. You don't get that money back. The court, I mean, you got the people who in who, um, like the bounty hunter, the bounty people. They do not write a check to the to the court every time. What they do is sign a paper saying that we would find this person out. I mean, we will put our name up, and you know, we have we already have a kind of whatever with y'all, and we're going to you know. That's how they make their money. That's how the bond companies make their money. That you pay them to sign that paper to say that if you run. They is uh they gotta they gotta pay the people for you running. That's why they come back and try to come find you because they need you to bring back to the jail so they don't have to pay that bond money that they signed your paper on to get you out of jail. So that's why some people do three percent, some out here they do three percent. 5%, 10%, because that's how they make their money. They make their money off of that 10%. They just co sign. Basically, they like co signers, basically. Basically, bond men are co signers. Smartest uh, niggas in the world. Yeah, they make so much money, bro. They make so much money off just fucking signing papers. And that's why they can find your ass, nigga, because they don't want to pay that. They don't want to pay the court. That money because they don't just automatically just send that money over. They don't. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I said he was on to, after uh, the time record paid his bond out. Yep, this nigga is dumb, man. This Get nigga, this is stupid, bro. Get him out of here, man. He ain't want to be here. He ain't want to be out here. Yeah, man. Is it Sean Cotton's fault? No, but at the same time, um, if I give you, if I've already given you seventy five thousand, I don't owe you any more money. I need you to start working. And most people be feeling like they down and out because they ain't got no dollars. But you got an opportunity. You better take advantage of the opportunity and just be broke for a couple of days. You are you out of you out of jail, gang. You could be in the bitch. Seventy five thousand ain't cheap. So it's your account. It is his fault. It's his but at fault. the same uh, time, I'll see. So yeah, but it ain't his fault that nigga in jail again. Definitely not his fault. That I'm talking about just his loss. It's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your head. Uh, Sean Cotton was with him with that day that he was in jail. I mean, he went back to jail. Nah, hell no. Nah. What I'm saying is the reason why it's his fault is because he didn't do his homework on a nigga from New Orleans. Do your homework on a nigga from New Orleans going back to jail. Come on, man. And do your homework on a nigga from New Orleans bonding out and they can't go back to another state when they bond out. We got to stay here, bro. We can't go nowhere. You got to fight this in this state, big dog. This is not Texas. They're not going to let Lucy uh, 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 go to, man, I mean, go to uh, L.A. Yeah, LA. No, they're not letting that happen. You gotta stay here. Yeah. Especially this little boy. You ain't come on, bro. Like you was young boy. You, you, you know what I'm saying? But you come on, yeah, I ain't no, but Sean, bro, you supposed to do your do your research and try to figure out before okay, this is is this his probation officer that he gonna have to okay, bad cool, his parole, yeah, all right. Would, would y'all, if I bond him out, would y'all allow me to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
change his life. Like I, I'm doing it. I'm trying to change his life. So would y'all allow? I'm not going to the. I'm not going to the bond people, bro. I'm going to the bond people last. You feel me? I'm going to talk to the people who once he get out, who's gonna be in control. So I'm gonna be like, okay, will y'all let him go out of town? Would y'all let him go out of state? Would y'all let him do shows? You're not. You're not gonna do that. What's the point of me wasting my seventy for him to make money? For him to, I mean, make music? No, we're not doing. That. I'll just say it like this, 75,000 and the fact that what you're just saying, like he has to be able to move around, bro. Like not like that. I'm changing his life. I'm getting him out of jail. Nobody else around him can do it. Can you allow me to move him? Like we'll move him to a better city, a better state, a better nigga. We'll move him like young boy, move him to Utah, give him a little crib or something. You got to get the okay before he come out of jail. Exactly. I'm not going to just spend the money and waste it. That's the reason a lot of rappers ain't out of jail. That's legends. Yeah, man. I don't know what bro thought. He must just really fuck with his music. Oh, he thought, yeah, this the new young boy right here. Yeah. Something. I ain't checked him out to know though. So I don't know. I think I think I think AI lit is and could have what well, could be a good New Orleans um I don't know. A good a good a good rapper, bro. I would say he he can be a good rapper, bro. He's only eighteen he's only eighteen. He yeah, he yeah. had to hit at sixteen years old. Um so he know how to make a hit, a good hit for you know, for his city. Um I think that he just Need to get out of get out the environment, get from around the people that he was around. But he couldn't do that being on anchor monitor or whatever he was on. You know, he probably wasn't on anchor monitor. He still got another a chain locked to him to the city. He can't go nowhere. So yeah, man, I think I I I am not just have to blame Sean, bro. Sean, you gotta just take that, take your L, bro. You know what I'm saying? Move on. He's still your artist. You can't you ain't just drop him just like that. He's still your artist. So you never know what's gonna happen in court whenever he go he go to trial. But yeah, man. I don't I don't have seventy five thousand to tell a man what to do with his seventy five thousand, so hey. Yeah, man. Take your L's with your W's, especially in this music industry. He said it's like throwing the needle in the haystack. You really don't know who gonna blow up. Somebody could be really, really talented and never go anywhere for the next 10 years. And then you can have a nigga who ain't got too much talent, but he got the charisma and he blow up overnight. So Yeah, he did just did his research, bro. All right, this is about to be a funny one. I'm just going to jump. I really just don't have 75,000 to lose. Even if I was millions up, I don't see myself investing in a rapper. I'd rather invest in an R&B singer. Always investing? No, for sure. I'd rather invest in an R&B singer. If you're listening to this, Sean Cotton, go get you uh, the bison tiller of Texas. (laughs) Go get you a the weekend from Texas, one of these niggas who don't be in no bullshit and just sing or write for niggas. You're going to make a check off that writer. Oh, well. Fat ass check. 
Man, put me in the studio with all these niggas. Look, bro, you see how you see Megan Thee Stallion dating a nigga who is considered Cardi B's fucking writer. So she ain't dating no average Joe. Everybody be talking about how Party just a lame nigga. He only got one song or whatever. Nigga, he got hits. It ain't his, but he got hits. <laughs> he the co-writer on a lot of shit in this world. So find a nigga like a party or a who else? 